Hello Bricks fans. So today I just wanted to follow up on a video which I put up yesterday. Uh, and that video was showing you how to use a Jet Engine options page uh, where we can put some business hours as a repeater and we can put in our day, times. Uh, we can have multiple, let's say for example a Saturday where we've got open at 8, close at 10. Uh, and then we've got open at um, 12 and close at 12.30, which is a bit silly. So let's just change that now. So 3.30. Uh, so we've got two hours, uh, two time ranges on a Saturday, allowing for a little break in the middle. But what I want to show you is the part that I showed you yesterday was about how to hide or show. I've just used an alert. Um, so if we're closed, so it's the current time today uh, is... Uh, I'm on Sunday, I've got no hours open on Sunday in this table here, so we're closed. If we're open, uh, then it would show a we are open message. So I'm using the uh, dynamic conditions to determine whether or not to show this alert. It could be anything you like, it could be a, uh, you know, above your header, it could be a section, a special, it could be whatever it is. Um, so we're using the time of day and the day to check against the table and if we are open show a particular block if we are closed show another one and also using dynamic data to pull the message so the message was from here so our closed message and our open message so that was the tutorial yesterday what I'm going to show you is from this table that we've created here of times how we can create a actual business hours time now it's just as ugly formatting i'm just showing this for how you do it not necessarily the actual uh, the graphic design skills and making it look beautiful uh, but it's using exactly the same data uh, it's using a technique which i've done another video on in bricks on how to create a table using the query loop i'm going to very quickly go through how that worked so if we come back to our um, bricks editor what we have here on the right hand side is a, I've got a basic div and that's just to give me a container so that I don't go full width with my table. I've got a, I added another div. This is the tutorial I've done previously. So add a div and then change the tag to be a table. Uh, add another div under that, change the tag to be a head. Another one under that which has changed to be a TR, TH. Uh, so there's my table head with my table rows, then I've got a T body, these are all divs, and then you change from being a what, the div to a custom, and this is a T body, and then on the TR, for that point there, I've got a query loop, and under that I've got my TDs, my three TDs, which will give me my day open and close. So back to here, so in that query loop, what I've selected is a Jet Engine Repeater Business Hours. Now this is a built-in function with um, Jet Engine, so it's detected that I've already got uh, some information that I have a repeater for, uh, which is pulled from this uh, uh, this options page under Business Hours, and it automatically gives me that as an option in the types. So if I get rid of that, uh, if I go to the types here, um, it automatically appears in there. So I just select that. And now I've got a repeater which will iterate through all of these items here. So cool so far, right? All right, now, um, so the first table data is a day where here it is here. Again, we can do this multiple ways. So if I just get rid of that and hit my dynamic data and I just type day, it shows me my Jet Engine Business Details repeater and my day. So there it is all done for you. So simple, you don't have to do anything special yourself. Now we get to the next one, which is this open time. And unfortunately, I had to do something different here because when you have these uh, time formats in um, Jet Engine, it saves it in a, even though it shows it as a uh, PM time here, as a 24 hour format with the AM PM, it stores it as a sorry 12 hour yeah it stores it as a um, 24 hour um, timestamp so this would actually be 1700 with no AM or PM 
So that's what we need to convert. So I don't want to show in my table here, I don't want to show that as 1700. I want to show it as 5 p.m. Now, unfortunately, there are no callbacks for that. Um, I wish there was. I wish there was a way of adding filters like you would do with Twig or Smarty or whatever, but you can't. So Bricks just doesn't have that feature to chain your uh, functions or your tokens. So unfortunately, we have to create a separate function for that. So I've created a separate function called WPE get business time. If we look at my code block over here, uh, we're going to find that uh, WPE get business time with a type. We're getting the current query loop object from Bricks. So Bricks query get loop object gets the whichever one of these items are we're currently on in the loop. Um, it gets that and then if we uh, set our type which is open uh, for the first one it looks for to make sure we've got an open so in here let's say look at this Monday so it makes sure we've got something set in open if it has then it's going to run a function here to convert that time to 12 hour with AM PM and that's going to return that um, method so that's just formatting Otherwise, if it doesn't have the time, then we're going to just return a string saying that it's not set. If there's no loop item, otherwise we've called this and we're not in a query loop, uh, then it's just going to return an error to say there's no loop item. So that's our very simple function there. Now, to get the open time, I've put the uh, word open there. And to get the close time, I've put the word close there, which is going to pull my close time. Right, straightforward so far, I hope. All right, now that's pretty simple. Now, the convert time, that was an interesting one. Um, I, as, a, as a bit of an experiment, I used ChatGPT to generate this. And what it generated was this function down here, uh, which actually worked perfectly. So I'm going to show you the prompt here. So all I've uh, written the prompt is write a PHP function to convert a 24-hour time stream to 12 hour with AM and PM. And here is the function it created for me. So all I've done is copy and paste that, put a prefix on it, done. So ChatGPT is great for this sort of thing. Um, what you need to be aware of is it doesn't always generate the best code. This one works perfectly. So I'm happy with what it generated, saves you a lot of thinking. You still need to know what you're looking at, otherwise it can generate some pretty poor code. So the other day I was looking for a function to return a custom post type. And then I wanted to uh, add some data to that. Now I typed into ChatGPT to write a function to return all the posts of a custom post type. I mean, it's a pretty simple thing to do. What it returned was a function which created a query, got the result, and then created an empty array, and then did a loop through all of the posts, getting the post, and then adding them to the uh, array. Per perfectly, it works perfectly. The problem I've got with that is that the WP query has a get post method which does exactly the same thing. So instead of having a for each loop iterating through and then sticking them into an array, you could have just called the WP query result with a get posts. So JetGPT does not always generate the best or mo most efficient code, uh, but you know, sometimes if it's just a simple thing like this, saves your time, it might come up with an idea that you hadn't even thought of, uh, but you still need to know what you're looking at. So anyway, all I've done is copied that, pasted it into here, put a WP in front of it. Now from my function up here, um, I can call, where are we? Yep, I can call that function with the 24 hour time format, so 17 colon zero zero, it converts that to five, colon zero zero p.m. All right, pretty simple, right? So that gives us this table here. Now, for styling your table, again, I've got a separate video on this. I'm going to very quickly show you. On this table here, all I've done is I've got a table, and I've created a bunch of BEM classes for it. So my top uh, BEM class has got a, basically setting the border collapse to collapse, and setting my TH to align left. I hate the way by default 
HTML aligns the THs to the middle. So that's all I've done with my table class. My table compact class is just that targeting all of the THs and TDs and setting the padding to three pixels. Uh, my table border light is basically setting the TH and TDs to one pixel solid with this light gray. Uh, my table dark head uh, finds the head, sets the background color and the color. And my table striped uh, looks at the T body and every odd TR it sets the background to a black with a uh, 12 um, uh, opacity. And that's pretty much all I've got there. And the rest of this just styles automatically. So if I decide, for example, I want that to be a lot darker, I can make that say 33. Let's have a look at over here. So we've got a light, uh, very light um, alternate column. If I go back to here, uh, too many pages open. Save my changes there. Have a look here. And now I've got a darker stripe. So all of that done by using BEM, uh, using modifiers. So we've got a root element here or your block level element. Uh, we've added some modifiers to it to change the way that table behaves. And you can do that uh, on your own tables and set it exactly how you want it to look. So I think it's really cool. So we've got a single point of truth, which is our Gen Engine, Metabox, Pods, uh, you know, ACF, whatever you use single point of truth where we've got all of our common data, our business details here. That business details can determine whether we display a block or not, uh, depending on the hour of the day and the day of the week, um, and what sort of message to show, if it's closed or open. And then we can generate a table, which we can put on a uh, maybe an About Us page or a Contact Us page, saying this is our business hours. And all we have to do to change this, say for example, we've got our Saturday at 12.30 we close, go back to here we go actually on Saturday we want to close at 3 p.m. Uh, make it 4 5 30 or 5 o'clock done okay we update our hours come back to our here and refresh and now we're closing at 5 p.m. on Saturday now it's currently 10.06 on Sunday so I'm going to go back to my business details I'm going to add an item for Sunday and I'm going to say we open at, uh, what are we going to open at say 10 a.m. and we're going to close at 12, uh, let's make it 1 p.m. So we go from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. If I save that now, go back to my page here and refresh. Now it's saying we're open, it's Sunday, and we've got a Sunday hour here saying we're open from 10 and we close at 1 p.m. I think it's easy. I think it's a really good way of doing it. Uh, now that I've got this point, I'll share the code so you can use it if you want to. Uh, modify it depending on what you use for your metadata. Uh, but yeah, I think it's cool. So if you like this kind of thing, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thank you.